Hello and welcome. So today we're going to do an unboxing and demo of this here. This is a torpedo boat. Uh, it's a ready to run right out of the box. Radio controlled ship. 2.4 gigahertz at 1 1 15 scale. And it looks pretty cool. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's get a quick look at the box here. Here is our manufacturer, and it's stating here that it is ages 14 and up. There is the name of the package, just called Torpedo Boat. Um, pretty generic there, but it's at 1 115 scale, radio controlled model boat. And it is 2.4 gigahertz, full function. And oh, look at that, we have a um, Looks like it's lit, so there's some lights going on there. And there you go, I think the uh, windows light up. All right, on the side of the box, now I don't know if all the boxes have this, but it looks like I have some sort of tips here um, about how to operate it, perhaps. And on the back, there's more pictures to describe it. Um, and oh, look at this. You can tell it was a Christmas gift. I still have some Christmas wrapping paper. I have not actually really opened this up other than looked in the top since Christmas. So I'm opening this up really for the first time today. Okay, I am one handing this. So that's gonna make this a little more difficult to open than probably normally would be. But we have two flaps here. We have a carrying handle. And I think you can just pull this. There we go. Pull that up. Unfold this uh, somehow here. There we go. Again, like I said, I'm one handing it. So that makes it a little more difficult to get out. And there's our ship. Okay, looks like trawler, ship. And what do we have down here? Oh, some more packaging. Let me put the camera down, get this out, and we'll take a look. Okay, so we have everything out of the package now. Um, let's start off with this here. It looks like a little parts bag. So there's a little bit of assembly, just little pieces. This was kind of laying in my uh, box, so I'll have to find out where that goes. We have a USB charger here, uh, and there, have that connector that'll connect to this. We got this battery here, and that looks like it's probably about the equivalent of five AA batteries uh, for our battery pack there. Here's your controller, basically your standard pistol grip left, right, and front and back for forward and reverse. Um, have to see what kind of batteries it takes. And then here is your actual ship. Uh, looks like this cover comes off and then you've got a bat the battery compartment there. And also we can't forget, we have directions. Okay, so before we go any further, where would we find a boat like this? Okay, if you were looking for one, um, you're on the market for an RC boat, uh, this type of boat you typically will find online. Uh, try like, for example, Amazon.com. You might also find it at a flea market that sells electronic toys or some hobby shops. Uh, but expect to pay, uh, just basing this off of Amazon pricing, this ranges from about 60 to over $100. So, uh, with that in mind, Let's charge the batteries and try it out. Okay, so like I said, some assembly was required. So before we get going in the pool here, right there, that little piece, that just fell off in the box. That normally probably would be there. And then we had to put these in, you know, this mast here and the antenna. And then I had to um, attach this. And this actually required screws on the underneath. So you will need a little screwdriver. But other than that, she's ready to go. So let's get the battery in. Okay, so the battery didn't take too long to charge. Not sure if it will always be like that or if it was just because maybe it came with a charge already in it. And then you put it in here and you'll connect that there like so. And then you seal it up. Okay, and in this here, the controller was two double A's right there. So let me uh, get that sealed up. We'll test her out. And this is our on off switch right there. And that's making the red light go on and off in the ship. Put her in the water here. Turn this on. Okay. Now, as you can see, here we go. It's 
like we got a large turn radius. Backs up pretty well. Wow, that's a really large turn radius. I'm not gonna be able to make a full circle in my pool. Take a look here. Okay, I just learned something. You do not need to be going forward and reverse to make this steer. You just, uh, that, that actually changes everything here. So this does have a short turn radius. So let me back it up, let me reverse here. Okay, normally with a pistol grip, you have to pull this to go forward and then steer left and right, okay? But with how this control is designed, you only need to steer, watch. See if I can do this one-handed. Now I'm not going to pull the trigger and see, see how it steers and it's a much shorter turning radius. So the way I was steering it was actually hindering how the ship moved. Okay, so that's a positive. For a minute I didn't think I was going to be able to make a circle. Not too shabby then. As long as you know what you're doing, I guess I should have read the tips. <laughs> I mean, you use one of these, you think you know how to use them all, but that's not always the case. Okay, here's just a quick look at the lights. It's somewhat dark outside, and here you can see the red lights. So just take a look at it moving in the dark for a moment with the lights on. Okay, so what's the final verdict? Well, after I figured out how to use it, it's okay. I wouldn't call this great by any means, but it's not bad. Um, Quality-wise, it looks like it's a decent build. Detail-wise, you know, it looks like a toy. Um, it's not like hobby quality or model quality, but it's still fairly detailed for a toy. Uh, just not as uh, authentic looking as, uh, you know, a hobbyist might like. But as a toy, it's decent. Uh, performance, 
Steering was kind of unique. I haven't done steering like that before with uh, a pistol grip controller, but um, it did perform okay. Not very fast, so it's not very powerful. And for a boat like this, I would expect it to go a little faster. Usually with scale ships, I like them to go slow and not look like a speedboat. And usually when you get these kind of toy boats, they go fast, even if it's a battleship, you know? And then the battleships don't look realistic because they're going too fast. But in this case, I want this boat to go fast because this is a torpedo boat and it should be able to intercept. It should go a lot faster than it actually does. So, um... Unless there's something wrong with the power in my battery uh, or the motors on this particular model, this is not going as fast as I would have expected. But still an okay, you know, boat to just knock around within the pool. But uh, not a hobbyist boat. So overall, um, if you're on the market and you want to look for one like this, uh, and like I said, the prices range from $60 to over $100. Look for the low-end price. Um, this is not worth uh, $100. Uh, so, you know, look for the low-end. Try and get it as close to $60 as you can. And that's about a fair, decent, proper pricing for this bone, I think. So, um, overall, okay. Not terrible, not great, just okay. But, uh, you know, that's what you get, you know. Some are good for the ready to runs and some aren't this one's in the middle so there you have it hope you enjoyed this demo um and the unboxing and you know please feel free to check out my channel for more videos i have other unboxings on radio controlled boats as well as sinking models which a lot of people seem to enjoy so feel free to check out the channel and watch my boats sink well have a good one see you soon